did you see the bodybuilder that tore his pick off? Yeah, I've seen that. Didn't yeah, we, we did see that, mate. I, I showed you. Face press, wasn't it? Terrible. Yeah. It, it knocked me in. That's when you're going, when you're going too heavy and the muscle gets too big and it can't compensate to the muscle as a hematoma, which is a split or they're soaking. And that's what happens. So you get what you do sometimes is you get a, a rupture and it just bursts. And what happens is just too much blood gets in the muscle and it can't compensate. There's a thing on the outside of the sheath of the muscle mm -hmm. and you can't compensate for it. So the splits. Uh, yeah, land borders as well, it repairs, but it's sore. Have you ever had any uh, injuries while training, Brian? Yeah, I burst my uh, tricep, either hematoma or my tricep. Oh, it was terrible because you yeah. went to actually went to the doctors and, and they said it was like... He said it was just a, a little rupture. He said it'll be all right in a few weeks. And then um, two parts of my tricep was destroyed. So mm -hmm. the doctors mis misdiagnosed him with my neck. When I went with my neck, I said, my yeah. neck's really sore every day. And it's cricking and creaking. And oh, you just got spondylosis. So I believed him because my sister's got it, my mum's got it, my brother's got it, so I thought I must be just part of the family anyway. 15 years later, yeah. the next perfect, now I'm getting, yeah, you know, was, when I couldn't do that, it was creaking, and then what's that noise you'd say in the middle of the night? It sounded like a pack of crisps, it was my neck. Yeah. So it's, yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah. So this little beautiful lady, yeah. Uh, 